Welcome Taurus, we'll be getting messages from Spirit today using postcards from Spirit, the Grace cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so Taurus, let's get a postcard for you. Two cards, that was two cards, we want one. One card for Taurus, please. Whoa, why is this so hard to hold? Weird. Okay. Makes me wonder if there's something about that for you, Taurus. Whether there's something you're finding hard to hold on to? Maybe? Don't know. Or you feel like something's slipping away. What does this say? Taurus, here is your postcard from Spirit. Spirit says, Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refused to, sorry, but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar, but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that shows up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on, special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's really nice. Yeah, you know, Taurus, the hardest thing sometimes can be to look at ourselves and be completely and utterly honest with ourselves. You know, it really can. And there's things about ourselves that we see that we may not want to see. But it's it's important to see these things, you know, because in order to change our reality, we have to be honest with ourselves and come out of that denial. So, yeah. If things aren't working the way you want them to, look at you, okay, and be truthful, okay. First card here we have is honour. Care for your soul. Honour the divinity within you by practising extreme self-care. The next card we have here is self, and then we have awaken, which we will go into. But let's just start with honour. Care for your soul. Honour the divinity within you by practising extreme self-care. And, and, you know, being honest with yourself is, is part of that. Wow. Let's have a look here. Control and ex exhaustion. Control and exhaustion. So how is it in your life? What is in your life that is exhausting you? Okay, is it the control? Is it the need to... Remember when I was trying to shuffle and I couldn't, I couldn't keep hold of the cards? Is there something you're trying to control so much it's actually exhausting? Really looking at yourself here, right? instead of everyone else around you because when we look at everyone else around us we project we project onto them and kind of go well it's it, if it wasn't for you this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for this that wouldn't be happening 
but we have to take responsibility for ourselves. We have to go, okay, how am I contributing to the situation and what am I doing to allow this to go on? For some of you, it may be that someone around you is controlling you and it feels like you have no option. But at some point in time, there was this power that was given away. And that's not to say everything is your fault. It's not to say that at all. It is looking at how are we responsible for how things are for us and what can we do to change ourselves in order to improve that. It can be the hardest thing to do because sometimes it's so much easier to sit there and, and blame everyone else because then it takes the responsibility of us off us, right? Believe me, and I'm saying this, Taurus, because I've done the same thing before in my life. You know, where it's like, oh, well, this person, this, and that person, that. And it's like, no, actually, you know, I contributed to that too. You know, so this is super important. This card here, and, you know, this, this talk expresses exactly that. There are three people here in this card, okay? In order to make this trapeze act um, complete, all three need to be doing their bit. Not one can slack off. You know, if this connection is not made, this one this one here can't say, well, it's your fault. Okay, they can't say, well, it's your fault. You know, this one can't say it's those two fault. That one can't say it's these two fault. Right? It's everyone working together in order to make something happen. Okay, so it's a matter of shedding the light on the parts that are not working and what improvements and changes can you make to make that work? Okay, we have the dream here. So for some of you, this could be a relationship. Okay, but it could also be a work um, situation. It could be any type of relationship. Okay, if you are dreaming of, let's say, a relationship that you would like to have and it hasn't come to you, what is it in your life that you are doing? that is not allowing that in, are you closed off, you know, is there certain traits that you would like in somebody that you are not actually living or expressing, I need to sneeze, you know, what is it that you want here Taurus that um, is stopping you, is it that you dream of that and, and believe that, oh I can never have that, you know, I really really want it but it's it will never happen for me, you know, is that how your reality is being created by the thoughts in your mind of believing that it's not going to happen for you, you know, is there a negative undertone that is coming from your mind which is creating your reality here, right, care for your soul, yeah, how are you not caring for your soul that is stopping you living your dream life. Right? Honour the divinity within you by practising extreme self-care. You know, loving yourself here, Taurus. Loving yourself. How is anyone else meant to come in and love you if you don't love yourself? You're not open to it. You're not open to receiving it if you're not giving it to yourself. Okay. We have adventure and morality. These were the last two cards that jumped up real together. Um, yeah, there's this need to open up. There's this need to set yourself free. There's this restriction. This restriction of, um, of not allowing yourself to, to play. To go on an adventure, which is actually your life, to not, yeah, it's it's this so restricting. So restricting. Okay, the next card here is self. Go within. When we invest more energy in developing our spiritual lives, the outer world begins to take care of itself. Okay, so when we're talking about spiritual lives, not necessarily religious, although that could be the case for some people, may feel like that. But how I see that here is um, 
is part of the self-care of going within, connecting with our heart, right? Connecting and bringing everything into alignment here, connecting with our higher selves, because you have all the answers within you, but it's trusting yourself, it's loving yourself enough to hear what it is, to hear the answers. Yeah, these first two cards here, look at this. Fighting, letting go. There's a resistance to letting go. And is that is that because of the, you know, not being sure of what's to come? Is the control, is the control feeling like it's, it's um, a familiar territory? So it's worth holding on to because you know that, right? Even if you don't enjoy it, you know it. Whereas the adventure is the unknown and that's scary, right? I'll just pick this card up. Yeah. So this is this courage to come out, right? The courage to come from beneath the surface into the light here, to, to connect to the light, the light of who you truly are. You know, letting your light shine, okay, rather than, than letting it be dimmed by this and by this. Yeah. Going beyond the illusion. Because believing that the control and the morality is serving you in some way is an illusion because it's actually hindering you it's stopping you from living the dream that you want to live from having an adventurous life from experiencing everything totally with totality right so in that regard Taurus it's opening your eyes okay opening your eyes being aware coming out coming out of the shadows and seeing things for how they truly are, being completely and utterly honest with yourself, okay? And experiencing your life. Going out into nature, becoming one, helping yourself to let go. Let go of the things that are not serving you, which are these, these things here. Okay? Okay, so the next card here is Awaken. Keep your eyes open. When we decide to live a more conscious life, we see signs of grace everywhere. Yep, and that's just it. Ask for signs. <clears throat> I love this because this is this awareness here, right? Awaken. Awaken to what is outside of yourself. Awaken to the magic of the world. Awaken to the support that you have from the other side, from spirit, sending you this postcard to say, hey, out of denial you know be honest be honest with yourself okay just get those in order of how they came out wow okay so we have guilt here um, and this is really this, in, you know, being in your mind, um, not necessarily guilt, although for some of you it may be, but this is sort of this, this um, feeling of being trapped, but it's actually only in your mind. I know that sounds so horrible to say, but it's, um, if you really look at your options, you will see that you have more options than what you were aware of. But sometimes we can get so caught up in, oh, I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't do that. Um, and we don't actually see. That stops us from seeing what we can do. So focus on what you can do rather than what you can't do, okay? And going, at, you know, just take it step by step. Take it step by step. Understand that you are protected. Understand that you can, during each step, you can take a moment, take everything in. Be aware of your surroundings, right? 
stay in the awareness, but experience the journey. Slowly but surely, experience the journey here. Okay. Um, yeah, this is getting in touch with the truth of who you are. And this is the spiritual side. The spiritual side in the sense of the awareness of the consciousness that you are. Because it's important for you to understand, Taurus, that you are a much more powerful being than what you give yourself credit for. You are more than a human being. Right? You are a spiritual being having a human experience, not the other way around. So it's time to start standing in that power. Okay? Start standing in that power. Because... I think some of you are afraid of that. I think some of you have had a taste of that or you feel it a little bit and it's it's so foreign to you that it feels scary. But here's what I want to say. It only feels scary when you're in your mind, but when you're in your heart, it's a natural state of being. Okay? It's a very natural state of being. All right? We have moment to moment and we have What's that card? Innocence. Okay, so yes, I, this is what I'm going to say with this card here is, is taking it step by step, but doing that consciously. Okay, not but doing it by default, being conscious and aware of each step that you take. Okay, in this Innocence card here, um, look at this, this grasshopper here, this master connecting with the grasshopper. The master understanding that the grasshopper hopper has a wealth of knowledge to share. It's not just a mere grasshopper on his finger. It's a grasshopper who lives authentically, who lives without ego, who is being who it is. And I feel like this is something that if you get out in nature and look at how nature lives, look at your pets, Look at animals, look at the trees, look at the plants and learn from that. Learn how to simply be. Learn about the essence and the truth of who you are, that existence. Because you are connected to everything there. But at the moment there's the separation. So this is important for you to connect with. Okay, and doing that is going to help you. So let's read this postcard again. Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you re need right now. Instead, Take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that shows up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so very much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on, special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. Oh, I love that. That is beautiful. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.